Extracting media from Cyberpunk. If you looked around the Cyberpunk files in Archive PC content, you saw that everything is in .archive files and you want to know how to unpack them to, for example, see videos as videos. Now the tool you want to use for that is Volven Kit. Link is in the description, of course. Just download it here. Get it from the releases page on GitHub. That should be the easiest. Scroll down to Assets. And here you probably are on Windows, right? So get that. And then just download it. And then in here just extract it. Okay. So in here we have a lot of DLL files, but we have to well just click here and type W and you will be teleported to the W files. Volven kit. You know what? I'm gonna right click and drag this to the uh, parent folder and just make a shortcut there. Alright, uh, so now I can start it from here. And yeah, run it anyway. Okay, a bunch of things might pop up. First of all, it will ask to install a helper tool for checking for updates. Sure, I'm just going to accept that. And that was it. Um, might take a little longer if you haven't done it yet. And then it asks for the game directory. Now, this is how you locate Cyberpunk for it to know where the files are. And you just have to find the Cyberpunk folder and press OK Open. Oh, it wants the exe. My bad. All right, let's go to bin x64 cyberpunk 2077 and then this is basically the export folder but i prefer to use a shorter path for example i created a Wolven project folder just in d and then uh, let's make another folder called Wolven kit folder for something double click that and select folder okay finish now, I understand you want to extract stuff and not create a project, but you need to create a project anyway for some basic functionality, apparently. So, create a pr new project. I know it's not fun, but whatever. Just call the project Extracto. And uh, let's pick new folder Extracto Proj. We'll click that and select the folder and just create it. All right, it's going to run a little bit until the asset browser is initialized. Okay, it's done. Oh, and the thing is, the asset browser, the most important thing for extracting stuff is at the bottom and a bit hidden. So you have to hover over it or click it. No, clicking. Yeah, here. And then you can pin it. A um, bit, bit much. Uh, so the important things are asset browser down here, project browser over here, and very important, the import export tool. Open this up. It's right here and it's going to go away. We're going to get to that later. And now hopefully you know what you're looking for. With video files, we begin. Well, we can go to base and uh, let's see, for example, video files are in movies. And then they are separated into oh, fluff. Sounds good. There's uh, ads tutorials and we can just right click and video and preview them for example uh, well that that was weird okay that was a dummy whoops I opened a dummy video file my bad all right this is an actual video hacking tutorial all right cool that can go away and if we wanted to extract this video or maybe something more fun like uh, let's go for Burrito X XL. Well, that's not exciting, is it? Whatever, let's get this video file. Let's go to the Import Export tool, pin it down so it stays there. And uh, I didn't mean to do that. Let me just hook this up back here. Okay, here we are. All right, let's drag this in there. Doesn't work. Let's add selected items to project. Now this is where this becomes important because without adding it, it doesn't really work. So let's add it. All right, it's over here now. Okay, I guess we don't drag it over here. Instead, we just right click it here and export BK2 to AVI. Let's go full frames if you want max quality, but probably you want uh, XVID MPEG-4 for compression. Are you done? Okay, let's go. Oh, yeah, it's here. Okay, let's go to this folder. 
pressing this yellow icon. And here's the AVI file. Now it is possible that this didn't work for you. In that case, you would have to get the Bink uh, video, the RAD video tools, which is free and relatively small. You'd have to download this, use the password RAD weirdly, and then install it. Okay, now let's look for some audio files. AVA audio files, LOL. Uh, for example, localization, that's where all the dialogue is. All right, let's pick some English US. Uh, voiceover. Oh, the thing is, the folder is so big, it takes a while to load. There we are. Okay, let's uh, just right click this. It's not a video, so we cannot really preview it. it. Doesn't even say anything. But if we just add it to the project, then it appears here on the right. So now we can convert these in the uh, import export tool. So let's process all. And now here in the uh, Project Explorer, there are at the bottom in the raw folder. And if we press the yellow folder icon here, we can teleport to their location. Let's listen in. Celebrate! You look in at the end. Well, don't just stand there. Get a drink with me. Mm -hmm. I think I remember this character and how I killed him. Audio, but when it belongs to a video. This was called Burrito. Let's see if we can find Burrito Audio. Now we can filter by kind or sort by kind. And the thing is there is no WEM. That's the audio file format used here. Okay, so we're gonna go with the uh, add Burrito XXL file. Let's right click that and find files using this. And this requires WolvenKit Resources plugin, which we need to install. Uh, guess this. Da -da -da -dun. Da -da -da -dun. Continue to editor. Back here we are. Let's uh, find files using this. Quest phase. That's a bit suspicious, but okay. Okay. Let's uh, try this. Let's add this to the project. Try to find it wherever it landed. Here. And uh, let's convert it to JSON. And then, uh, yeah, open the folder. And open the file. Let's try to search for audio. Looking for the burrito. So here we are. Burrito XXL. And we keep searching. That's all there is to it. So, okay, good. This is this is good. Now what I don't like is VO scene equals f default. But I think this might mean that the burrito ad does not have audio. That would make sense. But okay, let's focus on something that actually has audio. I believe Slaughterhouse. Let's see. Uh, video preview. Yes, I remember that one. That one has audio, annoying audio, but fun audio. So let's uh, search for files that use this. Anyways, let's just go with the just adds quest phase back here. All right, so slow Terhaus. Okay, it's all condensed to this location. Uh, 2858, 2862. All right, so VO scene, I think, would be uh, what we're looking for. Add, ab add slaughterhouse. Let's search for that again. Let's try to actually get the scene. I mean, one of them is in base media animated billboards scenes. This one's in base media animated billboard scenes versions gold. And actually, we can find audio files here using the file name. So maybe that's just enough. But let's just check the scene, add it, and see if we can find it. So, ah, here it is. And just convert it to JSON. Try to find it at the bottom here somewhere. In raw, base, media, gold. All right, this one is it. No WEM, no audio, but we do have these IDs. Uh, 1BAAB, for example. Ah, indeed. So we can look for lip sync animation name, I suppose. Maybe. I'm finding four. Yeah, and these uh, lead us to, I guess, the uh, these files. So let's select all these. And I think that these are just different languages. We will find out in a second. Let's add them and sort by name. Yeah, select these and process selected. And now they should be in localization. So let's check out the English ones. 
70% real blood <laughs> dripping meat. Slaughterhouse, satisfy your instincts. Yeah, let's check out the German ones as well. Slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse, folge deinen Instinkten. Zu 70% echtes blutiges Fleisch. I really don't get it why each of these lines has such a different sound to it, but whatever. Whatever, whatever. Fun, fun. All right, let's just get some texture. Let's just get some texture, he said. Uh, I don't know, add. Let's search for add. Let's filter kind to uh, none except for. What is? What are textures? Textures XMB. So let's filter by XMB. Here we are. Mantis? Did it say Mantis? Mantis blade? Um, that's not an ad, but it does have AD in the word. So let's just uh, add it. And finding it is always a problem, isn't it? Uh, here, let's look for blade. Here it is. Um, how do we convert it? How do we view it? Open this file. Oh, never mind. It got added to the export, import, export already. We don't need to open it. So let's just, just click here. Process selected. Blade. Search for blade again. And it's over here. Okay, this is super not interesting, kind of. Super not interesting. All right, instead of add, let's look for poster. Banner Lizzie's. You know the drill. Add to thing. Lizzie's. And then didn't have to do it. I could just go to the exporter tool, process selected, and search again. Open this up. Okay, yeah, uh, seems familiar. Seen that in the game. All right, let's try a 3D model. It is time to 3D. All right, I love Skippy in the game. Let's see if we can find maybe the text. Hello. So I guess there is no texture for Skippy. It's not called Skippy. All right, let's look for f model mesh. Uh, mesh, mesh, mesh. Let's check the mesh. Storage, Skippy, no. Handgun, uh, yes. Decal, maybe. Whatever, let's just import all of these. Uh, let's s sort. What's, why is there a mirror error here? Okay, sorting by export task doesn't seem to work. Um, well, I can see that these are meshes i guess so let's select these and process selected all right let's filter this by skippy all right looks like we got one two three four five exports good 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 let's open this here we are okay okay this is nothing nothing this is nothing even more 2d even more 2d than this ah here we are here's skippy here's the gun but of course, it's just the 3D model without the texture. I don't know what this is for. And this also just flat surface. Actually, let's go to the folder um, and uh, open Blender. And let's just drag it in. Just kidding, Blender is not that advanced. So we have to go to import G GLB, G-I-T-F. So we're going to have to paste the path over here. And uh, it was a top one, I think. Yeah, two megabytes as opposed to three kilobytes, definitely. Come on, come on, come on. Um, yeah, let's hide the bone. Okay, cool. Here's Skippy, and let's pray that the UV mapping works. Yes, yes, we just need to find the texture. Chimba, let's find the texture. So anyways, once you found the mesh file, uh, which was in our case, I guess this. Mm, yeah, these ones, mesh. You kind of know the folder, which would be uh, archive base, weapons, firearms, handgun, Arasaka, Yuki, Mura, entries, meshes, textures. Well, meshes. So if we do go there in archive base, what was it? Weapons? Weapons, firearms, handgun, Arasaka, Yuki, Mura, and then entries, meshes. Here we are. And then textures. Then we do get the texture files, but uh, sure, let's just import it all in these ML mask files. Let's see where are the ML mask files. Here, double click those, and you can see they have multiple layers, which look texture like. 
And in the import export browser, you can sort by name and it's all W handgun stuff. Select it all. Can we, can we multi enable? No. All right, whatever. I'm just gonna have to click, click, click. And then just process selected. Refresh the search, find them at the bottom. Here, yellow folder thingy. And here you have all these textures in folders because there's multiple layers. But unfortunately, assembling this into textures will be uh, a task for a different video because every channel apparently is saved individually and you'll have to figure out how to make diffuse maps out of these, for example. So weapons, firearms, and guns, etc. Entries, meshes, textures. All right, let's go with this. Uh, pick the last one. Well, this definitely fits from the areas, so that's good. Image texture, right? We take this, get this, put it into base color, and here we are with something. And then you have to keep making complex shaders, I suppose. Here, we have an example showing that off. You'll have to read up on that. I'm not gonna take care of that right now. Also, there's a way to mass export these archive files. Let me know if that's interesting to you. But for now, that's enough. I hope this helped at all. And until next time, ciao. See you next time, reality junkies.